Hi, welcome to my channel. It's January, it's freezing, it's just past lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving and I want to make a quick, fast, delicious and healthy soup in my Thermomix while I carry on working. So what do I do? I look in the fridge, find out that there isn't a huge amount in there, need to go to the supermarket, but there are some vegetables that are just starting to turn what better way than to make them into a lovely soup so i've got carrots and parsnips that i used at the weekend to make a roast dinner i've also got some leeks uh, that were definitely a little bit past their sell by day i just took the outer edge off of one leek and then chopped it up so i've peeled and just gently chopped the other vegetables i've got three cloves of garlic and that is it. It's going to be a carrot and parsnip soup and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. The thing I love about the Thermomix is that it is so versatile and making a soup like this, you can use absolutely any ingredients you want, just using the standard quantities that I'm going to show you today. All right, so first up, we're just going to add all the ingredients in one go. Now, you're gonna to need to weigh these out. It's gonna be 400 grams, whatever you've got in the fridge. It might be tomatoes, it might be more carrots, could be red peppers, whatever you like. Any kind of vegetables are gonna make this mixed vegetable soup. As it's winter, I've decided I definitely want to put some garlic in there just to give me all that extra boost for my immune system. So having thrown the vegetables in, I'm just gonna add some olive oil. So just bringing up the scales here, just gonna add 30 grams of olive oil. You can obviously replace this with butter or leave it out completely, whatever suits you and your diet. And then just heading back to the home screen, I'm just going to blitz this for five seconds on speed five. So five seconds on speed five is pretty standard. It's just got everything nicely chopped up and then I'm just going to saute this down, just give it a little bit of caramelization. So I'm going to do that for three minutes. And that's going to be on 100 degrees. And because there's quite a lot of volume in there, I'm going to go for a speed of 1.5. Okay, those veggies are nicely sauteed and smelling absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of the bowls. I'm gonna add some stock. Hopefully you guys are making your own Thermomix stock. It's really easy to make and very delicious. And you can check out one of my other videos on how to make that. So I'm gonna add 300 grams of water. As you know, cooking is a science, so I might find when this is cooked and blended that it's a little bit too thick. And if I decide that it is a bit too thick, I can just add a little bit more water and blend it up again, just to make it the perfect consistency. But roughly 400 grams of vegetables with 300 grams of water should work out, depending on the water content of your vegetables. Okay, so just coming back to the home screen. We're going to cook that for 12 minutes on 120 degrees, speed 1.5. Okay, so the soup has finished cooking and good job too because I am starving. So let you have a little look-see there. So that's looking like it's gonna be pretty much really good consistency. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of black pepper and a little bit of extra salt. Great thing about Thermomix is you can control the salt and sugars and all the ingredients that you do or don't want to be in your food. So if you're a bit of control freak, then Thermomix is definitely for you. 
And I'm now just going to blend this bad boy up. So I'm going to blend it for one minute because everything should be nice and soft now. So just one minute on speed eight. Okay, let's take a look. So that is looking amazing, a gorgeous colour. Really lovely. So it's probably a little bit thicker than I would like for my own personal preference. So I'm just going to add another 100 ml of water to that and blend it up again. Okay, this is absolutely the perfect consistency for me now. So I'm just going to add this soup to my bowl and this will make a really generous portion for one person so that you're not snacking throughout the rest of the afternoon. Um, I'm going to serve mine with a toasted bagel as well. If you are cooking for more than one person, then just double the ingredients and enjoy. And as always, if you would like any information about Thermomix, my details are coming below. Please do give me a shout. I'm an independent Thermomix advisor. I've been an advisor for five years now. There isn't anything I don't know about Thermomix and I can really help you with your Thermomix journey and to get a Thermomix in your kitchen in two to three days time. Give me a shout. Thanks very much. Bye. Let's try it. Oh my God, that is absolutely stunning. Okay, highly recommend using this recipe.